Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Team Lab Thursday. Let's go ahead and get our team for today. Looks like up first we have Zom, followed by Abigail. Next up is Sir William. And rounding out the team is Brom. PvP, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the YouTube channel, Darth Craig. It's continuing mission to explore strange new PvP teams, to seek out new meta and new hero synergies, to carelessly go where no one has gone before. Alrighty, we are kicking off today's matches at player level 59. We are going to be playing our game, though, at character level 50 today. All of my heroes are indeed fully ascended, so despite the massive discrepancy between player level and character level, um, my low level rank should um, keep me sort of where I'm supposed to be as far as my uh, PvP um, ranking goes. So we're going straight left as we always do. First team looks like it is going to be... I don't really know what to call it. We'll call it a Solaris... We'll, we'll call it a Solaris, Serenity, Rayla, and Wrath team. All uh, similarly leveled. Um, I got stars on all of them for sure, though. All of my guys are at um, four stars or more. So let's get to it. The order of the day is... Uh, first up was Zom. Then Abigail. Then Sir William. And lastly, Senor Brom. Two undeads, a barbarian and a tank. Not exactly much in the way of heals, but, you know, it is what it is. Attack power has plus 500 on us, so let's see how she goes. 18 and 12. Let's see if we can uh, keep our, um, well, we'll keep the winning streak going as far as our, our record goes. Uh, so we can't fall back under 500. So we got corpse removal to deal with Solaris. That's kind of nice. And we also have uh, debuff against uh, um, not debuff. Um, I like detanking or de detaunting, if you will. Um, if Sam is able to kill him, I could uh, purge that, I believe. I'm going to go off and try to kill him just natively. Kind of think that um, William has Pwn Beast, doesn't he? At least he used to. Maybe not. Maybe those are the old days. Okay, no Pwn Beasts, but um, let's see what we can do here. Nice thing about having um, Brahm on the team, you know, his Doomblade, if you will. You know, we'll lower max health so it'll mitigate some of the heals i don't know how much his actual attack damage does though i'm guessing not very much against that level um not looking good on this one here the fact that zom is toasted that was my means of corpse removal so guess we're we're gonna be losing one off the bat Shame. Wrath has invincibility. It's not looking good. All right. Well, we're going to start off over one. Not going to let it deter me. Said we'll still maintain a winning record after this um, this run. So it is what it is. So basically a clean sweep. I mean, I didn't kill anybody. Solaris is dead, but it was a it was a clean sweep. All right, dropping down a peg or two to some goblins. So Archon first. Um, kind of an eyeball team. They got mixed bag across the board. So shouldn't be dealing with any 
super critical issues. I will deal with um, silence from Jin, unless he's not fully ascended or if that doesn't even require full ascension. Um, although um, Zam and Brahm, they had the stack of foresight, so good for them. Um, kill Jin first because he's usually the most threatening. I probably could have attacked Archon there, but I decided not to. Going after Dagon because of elemental advantage. Why not? And with the massive level disparity, this is kind of what we expected with this one. At least that's what I expected. I mean, I didn't expect to lose this one. Uh, all right, let's just take on Nub Nub. We're going to be one on one after this one. Even with heals, um, he doesn't really have much of a chance. All right, good little revenge uh, match there, but not exactly fair if you ask me. One win, one loss, a couple more to go to the next uh, rank. I'm at recruit one. Um, my son has been playing PvP lately. He doesn't really know what he's doing at all, but he has been playing and winning, um, which is no doubt because I'm such a, a low level or a low rank here. Uh, this team here will certainly not have any chance whatsoever. Um, they're too low level to compete with mine. Um, kind of, kind of interested to see if Brom would one shot the team, um, but I'm not going to hold back just because it's going to be an automatic win. Um, so it is what it is. We're going to have two wins and one loss after this one. I guess as I get maybe a little bit more leveled up in the in the ranks maybe they will balance out a little bit more as far as um the teams that i get and i like winning but i also want it to be just marginally challenging enough for the teams that i get and this here unfortunately isn't i'll just auto attack till he clears that um, but like I said, we are going to have two wins, one loss, in just a matter of a couple of seconds here. Never seems like the invincibility lasts that long when you actually have it, but man, when you sit and wait for it to just clear, it tries your patience, doesn't it? And then he gets a stack of shielding and hand evasion. This is ridiculous. Let's see if that can be purged. Can't be purged. Okay. I'm going to basic attack until it clears, and then I'll, I'll do some real attacks. Sorry for wasting your time on this. I thought it'd go easier than that. So gives you a little bit of insight into possibly using Zen, right? I mean, that's pretty amazing that he's able to just survive, but... All right, two wins, one loss, two to go. We're going to get up to the next level of recruit pretty soon, too. Next up is another low-level team. Um, again, they'll have some chance. It's not no chance, but um, I do got levels on them pretty good. Seabug. Cute name. Okay, first up, elemental advantage. Yes, please, and always. Kill anybody you can when you can. No sense pussyfooting around, as they say. All right, a little bit of shielding never hurt nobody. All right, let's kill Agnon. And off to some basic attacks. There we go. Three wins, one loss. One to go. And should be just enough to get to the next uh, rank, too. So last one is going to, again, be um, not a throwaway team, but a team that does not have really any chance to win here. So thank you, Naticus, for... Four in a row. 
kind of kind of odd that my first one was actually at level and then they all balanced out kind of wish i knew how that actually chose the teams but you know it is what it is there it goes haggy and kudos to you naticus for putting the dwarves in the right order and um, having Dagon proc Rogar and not some other Kakamimi scheme. Um, yeah, that's the way to do it. Shouldn't be in any real danger here. Uh, Abigail did get knocked down a peg or two, but she's also not armored or anything, so she's going to take a pounding. But again, it did not matter here. So all things considered, a good night for me. We're nearing closer and closer to a, a solid winning season, if you will. Uh, I'm not going to tell you just yet how long the season's going to be, but I do indeed know it. Um, I have now graduated in Brawler 3. I'm going to get just a little preview just to see. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'm still so low in terms of where I'm at that uh, the all left is still going to be easy peasy. Now, if I was doing all right, 56, that'd be pretty tough to go at even uh, the middle one it'd be pretty tough as well but that is a pvp for another time that is not the name of the game for today so we are going to call it a day at that i appreciate everybody watching let me know if you have any questions comments or concerns and we will see you again next time thank you for watching and remember i make youtube videos for the american working man because that's what i am and that's who i care about